Well, I went off uh, to Yale University, um, and that was a pretty unusual thing because I was the first person in my family to go off to college. Okay. I was in the first class of women at Yale, which was a very unusual time to be there. So I grew up in uh, Cleveland, went to public schools there and uh, in the close-in East Cleveland uh, area. Um, that was a time when all the federal policies in the 50s and 60s after Sputnik was, were coming into the schools. Mm -hmm. And so in retrospect, I was actually very much benefited by a lot of the policy of that time. Well, you know, I think I want, of course, you know, what we all want for our kids. You know, you want them to have an education that is exhilarating and engaging and intellectually stimulating and experiences that let them find their own passions. Well, we have three wonderful children, Kia, uh, Elena, and Sean. Um, and Kia was, was born actually in Philadelphia when I was, by that time I was, later on I was working on a dissertation, so she was born when I was working on my dissertation. Um, and uh, we later moved to Washington where Elena and Sean were born and they are magnificent people. You know, the fact that we're um, up to 50 kids in a classroom in parts of Los Angeles and 60 kids in a classroom in Detroit and we don't have enough books for kids, we don't have desks for them to sit in, um, you know, we, we're losing the basic supports for education in high-need communities serving uh, low-income students. And by the time they're done, when they get out there, they really do feel uh, like they've experienced um, and learned from some of the best practitioners mm -hmm. in the field, as well as uh, good theoreticians, that they've really learned how to conceptualize being a teacher. Uh, policy research that is knowledgeable about and sensitive to practice. Mm -hmm. We also have to do wor work on practice in ways that are sensitive to policy. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people who work on practice and advocate for the dissemination of good practices are clueless about the constraints that teachers and principals work under. And so they don't understand why their great idea isn't being used when in, some, in many cases policies make it impossible for other practitioners to take it up.